Today we're looking at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles accessory set from NECA Toys. This is one of the newer Holothon Target exclusive releases. Retail price on this was $59.99. There we are. And as the name suggests, it is literally just an accessory set. So if you've got a bunch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA Toys, this is ideal for you. If not, then you'll go ahead and skip this one. Accessories include miniaturized baby versions of all four Ninja Turtles, Big Mac, video game console, TV with interchangeable screens, cheese painting, pizza box, two VHS tapes, a backpack, ray gun, turtle tracker, star of Havoken, baby pizza monster, rock steady helmet, blow torch, and multiple baby weapons because that's what every baby needs. Weapons. As you can see, we got the VHS style packaging, accessory set, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo on the side. Uh, there is no Velcro opening front window box or anything like that. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, first up on the accessories, we have this Pizza Grove pizza box. Opens traditionally as a full pizza inside. Speaking of pizzas, we've got two little pizza monsters. These are different than previous pizza monsters that were released with the larger pizza monster figures and some other uh, action figures that have came out from NECA so far. So these are new. We have a uh, a nice little blow torch for your baby turtles in case you wanna you know, light the living room on fire. Keep in mind, a lot of these accessories are very tiny, so uh, good luck trying to keep track of them all. Got a nice little ray gun here. Interchangeable, fits in pretty much anybody's hands in the NECA turtle line, so you can put it with whoever you want. We have the Star of Hoboken, giant-sized diamond that was uh, used by Shredder to fool the, the frogs. We have a VHS tape. Now the box says there's supposed to be two of these. I've looked high and low everywhere in between the packaging and I could not find a second one. So looks like I only have one of these, even though it says there's supposed to be two. We've got a Baxter as Shredder head. Got the Shredder cowl, Baxter's face, of course. We have a turtle finder. Pretty large used by Baxter. We have a little game console that looks like a Super Nintendo uh, with Atari style joysticks. Uh, everything is solid one piece. Very cool. Goes nicely with this little TV set. Now the TV set, as you'll notice, has a VHS player on top and wouldn't you know it, the VHS tape fits perfectly inside there and then it just slides right back out so you don't have to worry about getting it stuck. Uh, the rabbit ears don't articulate, so I would watch out if I were you about potentially breaking these off. Uh, the top does come off hollow inside, but you'll notice there's a little slot, and that is because there's lots of interchangeable things that you can put on the TV. So there's loads of little pictures that come inside the packaging. So we've got Bebop and Rocksteady, Ace Duck there, Donatello in disguise, don't even remember what this is from, but a dinosaur type of thing. Got some wrestling action and knowing NECA, this may be a nice little uh, tip of the cap to future releases. Uh, we've got something that coincides with the video game. So we can go ahead and put that in there when you're playing video games. Of course, the turtles will be watching April on channel six. And we've got this blob monster and then Vernon on channel six as well. So those are your interchangeable television uh, picture set images. Got a backpack. This is for the full size turtles, the larger normal release figures. You can't open the pouch or anything, uh, but it does fit over their arms very easily as that turtle shell kind of print on the back of it. I have this beautiful cheese painting. Goes nice with the Rat King. We have a single mouser, jaw does open and close. Legs do bend at the knee, foot goes up and down. So nice little accessory if you didn't buy the previously released mouser pack. And we got Big Mac himself, evil uh, slash good robot from the future. He's got some nice articulation on him. So his arm's gonna go up and down. As you can see, his like midsection, it's kind of ball there so it moves up and down rotates around this spins around it's not a wire form so you can't 
manipulate it, but you can move it left and right. His head does go up and down just a tad, side to side, again, just a tad. Uh, he does have elbow joints, so he can bend the elbows. Faux tracks, so there's no actual wheels or anything on him, so he does have a smooth uh, track surface, so you can slide him around pretty easily. Um, the hands are kind of manipulated for gripping, so you can potentially hold things like the pizza as seen on the box there. We got the much needed helmet for Rocksteady. Uh, the original NECA release never came with the helmet. It's very easy to slide on there and it fits perfectly like a glove. And voila, Rocksteady looking great with his helmet that has been missing for years. And we have baby Leonardo here. All the turtles come with their respective weapons. So we got two katana here for baby Leo. The head does move a little bit, goes up and down, side to side, spins around on a ball joint. Uh, arms do come out, but there is no elbow bend or anything like that. I mean, these are little bitty figures, so I wouldn't expect a whole lot of articulation. Uh, the legs are on a ball and socket joint, so you can get almost a full split from them. And the feet do articulate up and down and side to side, but uh, they are very little um, feet and there's no peg holes on them, so good luck getting them to stand. I fought with these guys for about 20 minutes trying to balance them and I just finally gave up. I'm, uh, I think I'll probably have to use some sort of sticky tack or something to set them up in uh, my diorama with my turtle figures. But like I said, I love that they all come with their own individual weapons. Got Michelangelo here. He's got two nunchuck with chains and everything. Looks great. We got Raphael. Comes with two psi weapons. They just kind of snap in their hands. It's pretty tight, so shouldn't have to worry about losing them or anything like that. All have their own unique faces, so that's great. Donatello has his one bow staff. Absolutely adorable mini turtles. And then there was this one little bitty white piece that came in the box that I literally have no idea what it goes to. I would assume it goes to maybe Big Mac somewhere, but I couldn't find a hole. I mean, just, I have no idea what this is. So if you know what this is supposed to go to, let me know in the comments down below. But that is the accessory set in a nutshell. Like I said, this is only a must have if you've already got a deep love for the NECA Turtles line. You've got lots of these figures and you're just looking to build out um, with more accessories and you know include things in your dioramas. $59.99 was the retail price. Check it out on Target's website. If it comes available, I'll put a product link down in the video description box below. But that does it for this video review. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.